Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I will be talking about how to get all of the default Minecraft files, such as textures and sounds and advancements and all of the things that you can change in resource packs and data packs. This does not include how to get the default world generation data pack files, but I will have a link to the video where I talk about that in the description. You're basically going to need these files if you're going to be making a resource pack and you're going to need them for a lot of data packs as well. And I use them in a lot of my videos and I have talked about how to get them in some videos before, but I don't have a video yet dedicated entirely on how to get the files. So I thought it would be better if I made a video entirely dedicated to them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find my .minecraft folder. So there are two ways to do this. You can type percent app data percent into your search bar on your computer, then open that folder and then click on .minecraft. Of course, if that way doesn't work for you, you can just open up Minecraft, click on options and then click on resource packs, open pack folder, and then you will have your resource pack folder and then you can just click .minecraft up here and this will be your .minecraft folder. So once you have gotten into your .minecraft folder, you're going to want to go to versions right here and here you will find a list of all of the versions that you have downloaded or played on. So I'm going to find, let's see, 1.18 Pre 4, because that's the snapshot that was released yesterday at the time this video was recorded. So in there, you're going to find 1.18 Pre 4.jar. This is going to be the name of your latest version or whatever version that you're trying to extract. So for instance, in 1.17, it's 1.17.1.jar, and in 1.16.3, obviously, 1.16.3.jar. So back in 1.18.4, you're going to want to extract this jar file. I use WinRAR because I think that's one of the best ways to extract files. I'm going to click uh, extract to 1.18 pre 4 and it's going to do all this extracting stuff. It's done with that. I now have a folder called 1.18 pre 4 that I'm going to just drag to my desktop. Uh, you don't need to do that obviously, but you should probably keep this somewhere where you're going to remember where it is. So inside of this folder, you can see I've got um, assets, com, data, meta inf, and net, and then all of these class files. So um, there's a ton of class files. I'm just going to select all of them and delete them. And that is going to take a minute because as you can see, there's <laughs> many, 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 many class files. All right, I've got all of the class files selected and then I'm just going to delete all of them. And I believe there's about 6,000 of them. So once all the class files are gone, you're going to be left with these folders, but the only ones that you're actually going to want are the data and the assets folders. So you can go ahead and delete meta inf and net, and then also delete com. And again, it's okay to delete all these files because you have extracted them from the game. So the game isn't using these exact files anymore. You just have them for reference. So in assets, uh, you've got all of the Minecraft stuff. So for example, You've got all of the block state files models, so you can see all of the block models. And then there's textures, and in textures you have all of the game textures. Um, and these are really useful for making resource packs. And you've got things like font files, and uh, notice that there is now a new font called Illager Alt that has been added in 1.18. And there are also link files, so I only have en underscore us.json on in here because that is the only language file that I have used in the game, so that's the only one that got downloaded here. So that's most of the useful stuff in the assets files. And so data files is where you will find a bunch of other cool stuff. You're going to find all of the uh, in-game structures and things. So structure mbt files actually. And you're going to find advancements. There's recipes, so these are crafting recipes and things like furnace recipes. There is also tags, such as block tags, where you can modify all of these block tags that will modify in-game behavior. And of course, loot tables, and this is going to be the loot that you're going to get in chests and killing mobs, um, which is this, and mining blocks and all kinds of other stuff. This also helps if you are wondering whether you need a resource pack or a data pack for something in particular. 
if you're wondering if you need a resource pack for advancements, you can check in this folder and see that advancements are in the data folder and not the assets folder. So everything in the assets folder will need a resource pack to change and everything in the data folder will need a data pack to change. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is how to find the sound files in Minecraft. So that is not going to be in the assets folder uh, that I just showed you. But to actually find the in-game sounds, you're going to want to go back to the .minecraft folder and then go to the assets folder inside of .minecraft. You're then going to want to go to indexes and then just open the file of the one you want. So that's 1.18.json for me. I'm going to open that and you'll see that it's got this huge list of um, different things and where they are located. This is pretty hard to read. Um, so I'm gonna put it in full screen. That might help a little bit. So say I want to find a villager sound. I'm gonna press Control F to open the find window and I'm going to type in villager and click find next. And as you can see, it comes up with Minecraft slash sound slash mob slash villager slash death dot OGG. So that is the villager death sound. But if I want to find the actual file where that is, I'm going to look at the hash that comes right after the file name. And so that is 97C65B and then a bunch of other numbers. So um, to actually find that file, I'm going to go to assets again and then go into objects. And let me see, okay, 97C65B. So I'm going to find the folder named 97. So that's 97. And then as you can see, this file here is called 97C65B and then a bunch of other numbers. You can see that there aren't any other files that start with 97C65B. So this file right here is going to be um, villagerdeath.ogg. So I'm going to make a copy of this file and paste it to the desktop. Um, and then I'm going to rename it to death.ogg. And I've got the OGG file here. Now if I double click to play it, you'll see that it is the villager death noise. So I, let me just delete that. And so this can be super helpful for finding different sound files and changing them with resource packs. I'm not going to go over how to do that in this video, I'm just showing you how to find certain sound files. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video, or if you have anything you want me to cover in a future video, then you can let me know in the comments, or you can join my Discord server that is linked in the description, and talk to me about that stuff there. Thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. Again, I know I keep saying this, but I really didn't think I would ever get this far. So thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate all of you guys. And I hope you know that if I could thank every single one of you, I would. So thank you individually, the person who's watching this video. Thank you so much. Even if you aren't subscribed, just thanks for watching my videos. And I really hope that they help you do the kinds of things that you want to do. Thanks for watching.